Hey guys, what's up? This is Mark Hunter from the WP Study Group, and today we're going to be reviewing the plugin Advanced Excerpts. So there are some themes out there, traditionally older themes and free themes, that when you go to the blog page, meaning the page that shows all the blog posts, it doesn't necessarily strip out the content of the blog. So rather than have a read more button, what you'll find is you'll have a uh, a full blog post. So you might have full six full blog posts on one page. This plugin helps solve that problem for themes that do not have customization options in order for you to um, strip out and put the read more button in there. Now let's take a look at how this works in WordPress. So to illustrate this, we have a WordPress website here, and this is the blog roll page. Some people call it the blog archive, which is what WordPress formally calls it. Some people call it a blog feed or a list of blog posts. Basically, this is a page where you click on to read each blog post individually. So it's the collection of all the blog posts. As you can see, the blog post is showing the full blog post for each blog post. So it's showing the full content, which can be a bit... See how it makes it so long to scroll down here on the sidebar here. So what we want to do is we want to go into our plugins and install the excerpt plugin. So I've done that ahead of time, and I'll give you a link to that plugin. But basically it's called... Okay, let me just install it for you. So, we're going to go to add a new plugin, and it is called Advanced Excerpts. So we're going to install this plugin by WP Cube called Advanced Excerpts. Just pause this video while it's installing. And when you know it, activate it just as I pause the recording, but it hits OK. So we're going to activate it now. So if we go back to our blog post, let's look at a large one, for example, this one here. And these are all dummy posts that I generated. If I refresh the page, you'll notice it snips the blog post, so it makes it a lot shorter. Which is really great for themes that do not support this kind of stripping. Most paid themes will, and modern themes will, but there are some exceptions. So if you go into fake, not fake it press, but rather, let's see, settings, and go to excerpt down here, you can actually manipulate the controls here. You can create an add or read more button. And then you can save that. So when you refresh, you've got the read the rest. And it's, I think you can turn to a button, or maybe on the pro version. I don't really use this plugin much. I only use it when I've had trouble with client themes not displaying the short blog post but it's quite useful when you need to fix that problem so if you have any questions specific to this video be sure to reach out to us on our social profiles or post any questions below and i'll get them answered for you cheers